the last session we did set up uh, the font vector icons the font awesome and also we did set up the loading screen just like the one you can see on my screen that whenever I save it's going to refresh and it, and the logo is going to bounce with our logo text appearing slightly now in this section I'm going to talk about how we are going to use the loading spinner before we talk about the authentication screen now for us to use the loading scene is a uh, loading spinner is very very simple all we have to do is to head down to where our logo is over here under our logo uh, we can actually use it here so the way I'm going to bring it in is we have to make use of our state loading spinner value uh, we have to make sure that the boolean is true before we proceed now I'm going to bring in curly braces then I can say this dot state dot loading spinner that is if it is true all you just have to do is to bring in our activity indicator else is not so I have not brought in the activity indicator I'm going to come up over here bring in the activity indicator from react native then and for that I'm going to uh, put a couple of styles to make sure that everything is positioned to center so over here close that bring this down I'm going to give it a position of absolute absolute I'm going to give it a left of zero right of zero top of zero bottom of zero i'm going to align the items to sorry i'm going to align it center and also justify context center then i'll save it As you can see, the loading spinner is out. So down here, you can see I added the large, the size of large, and also added a color. So that is the only thing that differentiates it from our design. And that is it for now. In the next part, we are going to now fully talk about the authentication scene, and we can work on our input values. Uh, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like my videos. Thank you very much.